For this task, we're going to talk about the evaluation of an abandoned ship drill. Prior to starting any drills, we want to verify with the captain and the chief mate what we expect, any expectations from the crew, and how the drill should progress. Prior to starting, some hazards, cautions, and PPE. Make sure you're wearing all your standard PPE for, evaluate, for an inspection or an examination. Make sure that the crew is aware to provide the equipment they need to provide as per their watch station bill, and that we're not putting anybody in a lifeboat to launch in a lifeboat. We'll only be doing a muster. When it's time to initiate the drill, we should hear the general alarm or emergency signal given by the ship's whistle. We should see all the crew members proceed in an orderly fashion to their assigned muster area, and they should bring their life jacket and emergency suit if required. Once they're at their muster area, we expect to see them in a properly donned life jacket and ready to go. If they're required to bring anything with them, radios, first aid supplies, we should expect to see that as well. During this time, we're also going to evaluate their knowledge of their assigned duties. We'll typically pull a crew member forward and ask them what they're assigned to do and what they're supposed to be bringing. The crew that's assigned to launch the lifeboat will have them get through all the steps like they were actually going to drop the lifeboat. Again, we're not going to put any crew members inside the lifeboat because we don't want to put people in there unnecessarily. It's important to remember that this is an evaluation of their abandoned ship drill. This is not a scoring evolution or a critique. We're here simply to evaluate their training program on board. How well does the crew know what to bring, where to go, what their jobs are, and any of the emergency signals involved? Whether they pass or fail is entirely up to you as the Marine Inspector. You should take all these things